Take them! Well, good morning, my little angel. You guys ready to get some birds? Uh, uh, <clears throat> vacation's over. Time to get back at it. I'm back. Did you guys miss me? Because I miss doing the old YouTube deal. I know it's been a while since I've made a duck hunt. So, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Fowl Hunter. I know, I see, gotcha. We changed the name. There's a couple of you that actually have our decals for like the back of your truck. That thing has Fowl Hunter on it. This hat right here, bam, right there. That says Fowl Hunter on it too, so. Anyways, reason why I have not duck hunted in the last couple of weeks is because the old police academy has been kicking my butt and I've had to designate the weekends to the academy. So I'm working full time and I go to the academy at night. So, and then obviously on the weekends are designated um, eight hours on Saturday and eight hours on Sunday to the academy. So ain't no time to be doing any duck hunting, but that's all right. You know, this is this isn't for a job, this is for a career. So, it's what I want to do, and uh, we're going to get it done. Anyways, my shoulders are a little sore, though. Even holding up the cell phone, it kind of sucks. Anyways, we're here on my family's property down in the grasslands here in California. We're going to go out and grab a blind, and uh, hopefully we can make something happen. Well, come on. Come on. Let's go. So, what are we waiting for? We got like 45 minutes till shoot time. We need to hurry up. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, we're fighting the wind noise again. Anyways, we got one minute till shoot time. I'm going to get set up in the chulies back behind me here. And uh, I'll show you guys the spread once we uh, get a little more light out here. So. Hopefully we put some birds down quick. There we go, a couple of spoons. Thank you. 
That's a good duck. <coughs> Well, a little time check for you guys. It's about 8.20 and uh, the bird flight is damn near completely stopped, which kind of sucks, but we should get a few stragglers floating in here and uh, I'll just have to make my shots count. That's all there is to it. Everything's dying, including spoons. Passed up on quite a few teal this morning. Passed up on some more spoons after my scotch double. But now all bets are off. And uh, Tom's gonna kill me because my GoPro is completely dead. But don't worry, don't you guys worry. I got you covered. I still have the shot cam. That thing's fully charged, so you guys will be able to see the crunch shot. And I'll hop onto my phone as much as I can. Maybe I'll try to get the birds actually coming in and throw my phone into my waders. We'll see how that works out. As long as it doesn't drop into the pond, I think we'll be all right. All right, well, there we go. Like Tom says, cue kill shot. <laughs> oh, man, that was some horrible shooting on my part, but I got one of them. We'll take it, I guess. Oh man, they did it. I had my phone out, I was just about to record something else and I look up and there's, I don't know, five or six of them just So, yeah, they definitely heard me fumbling around trying to throw my phone in my waders and all that kind of good stuff, but hey, it is what it is, right? So this morning in the trailer, I told you guys that I was gonna be hunting a blind. Well, got out of the trailer, noticed that we had a pretty good wind coming out of the southeast. And on this piece of property right here, we don't have a blind. Well, let me take that back. We have a couple of blinds set up for a south wind, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do today. I wanted to try to get into some puddle ducks. Um, I could have gone over to our big water lake and tried for some divers, but you know, I just felt like doing a little puddle duck shoot. Now, with that being said, um, I have a blind that's maybe, I don't know, 80 yards away from me right now, but it's set up to hunt a north wind. In one of the decoy videos that Tom and I did, you know, we talked about the importance of trying to keep the wind at your back. So instead of hunting the blind, I came across and sat in this tule patch right here, and I've got the wind coming at my back. Um, Plus, the tulies allow for some shelter for these birds to actually come and get in out of the wind. Um, it's not blowing too bad right now, but if it picks up later in the afternoon, you know, they're going to want to be looking for that shelter. They're not going to be looking for real big open water to land in. So when it comes to our duck hunting videos and everything, what do you guys like about them and what don't you like about them? Drop me down a comment below, let me know. Um, and feel free to speak your mind, please. Uh, because, you know, both positive and negative comments is how we are going to grow our channel and that's how we're gonna provide the best possible content for you guys, for, you know, 
and what you guys want to see. Just let me know. You know, this is our first year doing this whole rodeo thing, and we're just trying to provide the best possible content that we can, you know? Uh, so if you guys want me to go more in depth on my gear or how I set my decoys or what kind of decoys I'm running and why, um, I'll do that, you know? Anything that you guys want to see, just drop me down a comment below. Let me know what we can do to improve. So, anyways, let's get back to doing some killing. Well, there's number five. Uh, it's going to be one of those days. Six spoons and a gadwall. I can already feel it. Oh, man. I wish I didn't live in this state. All right. Time check update. It's now 11 o'clock and there aren't any birds moving at all you know i'm sitting on five birds i've got four spoons woo, and a gadwall you know granted i had my opportunity to limit this morning if i would have busted the teal done deal 15 20 minutes it would have been a wrap but seeing as how it's late december it's almost christmas time you shouldn't have to be settling for teal, let alone spoons. I mean, I would have much rather shot teal than spoons. But, you know, we had a little storm front come in. Um, I don't know what the weather looks like up in Washington and Oregon right now. But with the storm that we had, I was thinking, okay, cool. You know, there was a good number of teal around this morning. Let's see what other bigger ducks are around. So I held off. Um... The pintail we're in, it looked like there's been a big push of pintail that came in. Uh, they were just outside of range. You know, they're classic pintail, don't want to work. Just, you know, buzz around a little bit and piss you off. Um, I saw one small group of widgeon. And other than that, you know, I had those three gaddies come in. There's been a couple little groups of gaddies that came over. But uh, other than that, that's it for big ducks. All right, guys, before I get the hell out of here, I just want to show you guys the spread real quick. Um, I've got my spoons here. They would have been off of my left shoulder. Uh, this tule patch that's right back behind me, that's where I was sitting. And off of my right shoulder, I had some teal and a little three-pack of mallards. So that's what I decided to go with today. Um, it was all right. You know, as far as... What I could have done differently, shot the teal this morning. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna be a wrap for today. I was not about to sit out there for a couple more spoons. It ain't gonna happen. So, not too bad. I finished with five, you know. Wish I would've shot the teal early, but it is what it is, you know. That's duck hunting. You win some, you lose some. Anyways, if you guys aren't subscribed already, you might wanna go ahead and get on it because Tom and I next week are bringing you a California public land hunt that you guys have never seen before. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. We're going to be doing a little commuting, but uh, yeah, we're going for some grain. That's all I can tell you. We're going out of town and we're going for some grain. So we'll see how it works out. Anyways, Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop me a comment down below and uh, let me know what you like about the video and what you don't like about the video and what you think we can improve on. Other than that, we will see you guys on the next one.